Hello everyone. In the we will talk about compaction. So basically, compaction Compaction means pressing the soil particles close to each other by mechanical methods. That means, we have a mechanical force that is uh, ramming, vibration or rolling. Soil particles are compressing. That is soil particles are process compression e soil particles in the void spaces void spaces in the compression chamber other the air okay for the bogey soil particles add to the the volume reduce the process compaction now in the permeability void ratio and compressibility of the soil decreases but at the same time, shear strength of the soil increases. This will in turn help in increasing the stability as well as the bearing capacity of the soil. Now, mainly compaction test chain, the two determine the First, the amount of compaction and then the optimum moisture content. Now, each test to conduct and Intel adopt usually two methods are that is IS light compaction test or the standard proctor test and IS heavy compaction test or the modified proctor test. It is IS comp light compaction test mainly use in the embankments, roads, earthen dams. In the heavy compaction test, I think modified proctor test usually use in the runways and expressways. In this Tamil, there are comparisons and differences. This is, a so, this is a table showing the difference between IS light compaction test and IS heavy compaction test. So, this is the hammer in the weight. Light compaction test is 2.6 kg. Whereas, in a heavy compaction test, it is 4.9 kg. In the height of fall of hammer. This hammer is a particular height in the mold, this cylindrical mold, soil in the cylindrical mold. This height is light compaction 31 cm, heavy compaction 45 cm. This is the number of layers. How many layers are in soil and cylindrical mold? In light compaction, it is 3 layers. In heavy compaction, it is 5 layers. In this soil layer, how many number of tamping and how many number of blows are going to be added to the For light compaction, it's 25 number of blows for a 1 liter cylindrical mold. For heavy compaction testing, 1, mold, 1 liter mold is 25 blows and 2.25 liter mold is 56 number of blows. Now, this is experiment we have corresponding dry density water content and flow table ide pole ore hyperbolic graph namaku kittum aa graph niyana nammal compaction curve nu vilikkunnathu idile namaku kaanan pattum aadyam initially water content koravayirunnappol or particular dry density value undu pashe as we go on increasing the water content ee dry density ede value koodi koodi varum and at a particular point, along a particular water content, this dry density in the value maximum. Our water content in the number optimum moisture content, other OMC in the Vilikin. That initiation pinion number water coat and angle dry density coat allergy in the coronary the right and a car number to another. In either a particular amount of saturation, along a water particular amount of saturation, I reckon e hyperbolic graph number kit another. Now, we have 100% saturation. That is why the soil particles in the void spaces will be water. There will be no air content. In the case, we have a compaction curve. We have a straight line. But we have to practically achieve it. That is just a theoretical case. Now, this line is 0 air voids, 100% saturation line. 0 air voids line. In this graph, the IS light compaction and IS heavy compaction is the graph. This is the graph standard proctor test and light compaction test. This graph is the modified proctor test and IS heavy compaction test. Now, if you have two of the water content, we can see that IS light compaction and heavy compaction is water content. At the same time, dry density the values in okay, IS heavy compaction the value uh, dry density value 
IS light compaction de dry density value in a column code. That is the university question. Noka. The optimum moisture content and maximum dry density of a soil obtained from the standard Proctor test are 18% and 1.67 gram per cc. The specific gravity of soil solids is 2.7. Determine the degree of saturation of the soil at OMC, optimum moisture content, and the dry density corresponding to uh, zero air voids condition at OMC. So, this is the question. That is, of the optimum moisture content, 18% is the water content. Then, maximum dry density is 1.67 gram per cc. Pinya specific gravity G the value 2.7 Now we know the formula gamma D that is the dry density is equal to G gamma W by 1 plus E. This is the E the value. Um, e is equal to e 2.7 G value into 1. 1 is the unit weight of water which is equal to 1 gram per cc. 2.7 into 1 by 1.67 minus 1. That is 0.617. Now, E E value, G the value, W the value, that is the E equation. Substitute we have S in the value. S is the degree of saturation. So, substituting the values, W question is 18%, G 2.7 and E the value we have given. That is the degree of saturation. The degree of saturation is 78.76%. That is the first part. In the second part, I will tell you the dry density corresponding to zero air voids condition at OMC. That is, gamma d value we have to this equation is zero air voids condition equation. E gamma d is equal to g gamma w by 1 plus wg. That is, we have values to get the That is, g 2.7 gamma w 1 divided by 1 plus Water content W at the point 18 percentage into 2 point 7 at the 1.817 gram per cc in the answer. So, this question is the answer. Okay, next question is the answer. Now, what do you understand by light compaction and heavy compaction? Under what circumstances are light and heavy compaction tests carried out in the laboratory? This is the difference in the slide. Paraga, and the other purposes you see in the Paraga. Other basically a second question. In the moon, I'm at the question. A cohesive soil yields a maximum dry density of 18 kN per meter cube at an optimum moisture content of 16 percentage during a standard Proctor test. If the value of G is 2.65, what is the degree of saturation and what is the maximum dry density it can be further compacted to? This is the first question. It is a similar question. The maximum dry density is gamma D 18 and optimum moisture content is 16% and unit weight of water gamma W is kN per meter cube in a unit. That is 9.81 kN per meter cube. Now, specific gravity is 2.65. Now, we have the formula gamma d is equal to g gamma w by 1 plus e. In e, we have the formula w g is equal to e into s. That is, e is equal to w g by s. That is, the first equation is substitute e. Then, we have the equation. That is, we have the corresponding values. We have the degree of saturation s is equal to 95.44%. Now, maximum dry density, it can be compacted to one at the choice. So, maximum dry density that it can be compacted to one is the theoretical maximum density. That is actually, practical cases, we can achieve it. But theoretically, we can say that is, all void spaces are completely water going to fill the case. That is the maximum density. That is, gamma d max is equal to g gamma w by 1 plus w g. We can say that the value is substituted. We can say 18 point. 256 kilonewton per meter cube and the gitter. So basically, e type of problems are called Russian university questions in a choice of content under. Up is the note a deca. So itrayam on a compaction across a paranola. Okay, up a bell of months lay in the garden. Thank you.